Hey, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about some more AFL news. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the news. So, if you guys haven't heard about it, it looks like Stephen Canelio will 100% depart with GWS at the end of the season. And this has been, you know, rumored for months now, and not just, you know, it's just, you know, a tiny rumor. It's been a big rumor, and it looks like it's going to be pretty much true with a couple of teams actually circling him. The main two that everyone is talking about seems to be Hawthorne and Carlton. I'm actually surprised that no, um, you know, none of the journalists are actually talking about Fremantle as I think Fremantle are a, you know, an underrated team in this, you know, chase at the moment because no one's talking about them. Everyone's talking about, you know, Hawthorne and Carlton, but I do believe that Fremantle are still a chance, yet yeah, a slim one. But I do believe if we were to leave GWS, which it looks like he will be, it will be for either Carlton or Hawthorne. And a couple months back, I probably would have said Hawthorne. But with the way things are going right now and, you know, the way some of the stuff is happening, it looks like he might actually be heading to Carlton to, you know, build a really big midfield with them. It's going to be really interesting to see what Carlton do. Because obviously, you know, they have wasted a couple opportunities in recent times with their trades. Um, you know, the most notable one, obviously, giving up, you know, pretty much they drafted Stocker and gave up, you know, their first round pick, which will end up being pick three, which they were most likely going to draft the midfielder with. And then you could have added Canelio to that. Obviously, they're not going to be able to do that now, but... The fact that there's still a massive chance to get Canelio and add him alongside, you know, Walsh and obviously Patrick Cripps, who looks like he most likely will win the Brownlow this year. I'm not too sure, though. It's a bit early. You know, I wouldn't say a bit early, but I mean, it's just, you know, a bit too hard to say on who's going to win the Brownlow this year, as there are obviously a couple of, um, you know, players that could potentially win it. But I think Canelio is just really interested in the fact of potentially joining a midfield like that, because obviously a couple of players will be leaving GWS, a couple of players have signed on, and it just looks like GWS really is struggling to sign those, you know, couple of players on, like Josh Kelly for big five-year deals, and they're only getting, you know, two-year deals. So, like, every single year, they're always having to worry about losing another star in their team. For example, last year, it was Dylan Shiel. Um, You know, the year before that, it was Josh Cully, and this year, it's obviously Stephen Canelio. That's three years in a row now. They're going to have to worry about losing that big inside midfielder, and then, obviously, Canelio is... They're most likely going to lose him, and that is probably going to be to Colton. Now, let's talk about the other team now, and that is Hawthorne, and... I think that Hawthorne are in a real interesting spot right now where they've got obviously a couple old players and, you know, past their prime type of players with, you know, cer uh, certain players on their team, obviously. And then they got a couple of really good young players. And, yeah, their midfield's just sort of all over the shop at the moment. Obviously, it's just like in the last couple of trade periods, they've gotten these players out of, you know, a couple teams and just really tried to put them together and see if they would work out. And it looks like they have done for the most part. Obviously, Jaeger O'Meara or Jaeger O'Meara, however you want to say it. I don't really know what's the best way to say it. From Gold Coast, then Tom Mitchell from Sydney, Tom Scully from GWS, and I'm sure there's a couple others that I'm forgetting. But yeah, they've just really got to, they've done really well at getting a couple players and just chucking them together. And I think they're going to really want to try and do that with Stephen Keneally. And I think that's going to be a very big possibility and something that could potentially happen. But do I think he's going to pick Hawthorne over um, Carlton? To be honest, I don't think so anymore. With the way Carlton have been playing recently and just showed that, you know, with their new coach, that they, they can be a good team for, you know, 2020. And with the right players, they might be able to do that. I think it just, you know, is a real interesting prospect for Canelio to go there. And there's a couple of other players that look like they might want to go to Carlton too, like Papley from Sydney. I know is a big rumor that he might request a trade either to North or Carlton. It's just going to be really interesting to see how that works out, in my opinion, as well. And yeah, that was, obviously, that's another thing to watch as the other players that could potentially join Carlton if Canelio decides to make the move. So, it's really up to Canelio and what he wants to do. I, I do think that Canelio is most likely, you know, he's a very good midfielder and is probably in the, obviously, top 25 midfielders in the AFL. So if Carlton can add him alongside Cripps, who Cripps is obviously a top five, if not the best midfielder in the AFL at the moment, I think that would definitely be really good for him. And I think Canelio playing with Cripps as well would obviously be really good. So... 
I do, I think it's going to happen. Yeah, most likely him joining Carlton is going to be a really big prospect. And obviously Walsh is only like 20 as well. So he just, you know, him just looking at the plays that Carlton have able to build together in that midfield, it is looking pretty good. And I think the son that Canilio will like to join. And it's just really up to, you know, as well, a couple other GWS players that look like they're going to be on the move, like Jonathan Patton could potentially join Hawthorne. Then there was a rumor that Jeremy Cameron was actually looking at Geelong and Collingwood. I don't think he's out of contract this year. I think it's next year, but there was a rumor he could request a trade. I doubt that's going to happen. I think that will be the next big free agent that GWS are going to have to worry about. And yeah, there's a couple of, I think GWS just really needs to get out of this sticky situation and just start to sign these players for five years because it's really damaging their club and they've had a lot of players leave due to this stuff and Canelio is most likely going to be the next one and obviously that's most likely going to be Carlton. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section down below what team do you guys think Stephen Canelio is going to go to or what team do you guys want Stephen Canelio to go to? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlog channel. Link in the description down below. So yeah, as I said, make sure you guys leave Leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.